Today, I would love to show you a very peculiar microorganism. To give you a better overview, let's start this micro story at its beginning. And all starts with a hydra. Like all cnidarians, also hydra is covered in a blanket of poisonous nettle cells. When triggered by prey, these weapons fire a poison dart at the victim, delivering a potentially deadly blow to creatures the size of a water flea. So imagine what this insidious weapon could do to a much smaller creature. Let's say, for example, a microbe. Think of Hydra's surface as a biological minefield. And the microbe I would like to show you today calls this death zone home. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Trichodina, a ciliate belonging to the Peritrich family. Trichodina uses its cilia to float over surfaces like a hovercraft. Moreover, Trichodina is equipped with a circular arrangement of thorns that look a bit like a crown under a microscope. These thorn-like protrusions allow Trichodina to stay attached firmly to all kinds of surfaces, no matter how slippery they might be. Surfaces like they are found on other bigger water creatures. So even if the host should move or wiggle, Trichodina will stay. This very peculiar set of skills allows Trichodina to pursue a parasitic lifestyle on all kinds of water creatures. Surprisingly, this ciliate is not being recognized as prey by Hydra and doesn't trigger the nettle cells at all. Trichodina lives peacefully on Hydra, doing little to no harm to its host. It simply feeds on expanded nettle cells, leftover food particles or bacteria growing on Hydra or even suspended in the surrounding water. While this odd relationship is still full of mysteries, for Hydra, Trichodina might very well simply be a free-of-charge, self-replicating cleaning robot. Wonderful. But Trichodina has a dark side too. It is not always so kind and harmless to other creatures. Fish and mollusks are also targeted by Trichodina, where it prefers the gills to make itself cozy. A Trichodina infestation can harm fish and shellfish significantly, making the ciliate an economic threat for fish farms. I wish you happy hunting. Please let me know in the comments when you find it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.